So it's letting all sorry for the black uh, uh, screen. Sorry about that on my SPF of preview. Hey guys, this is Chris Morton TV here and welcome back to another video. Today is my SPFL preview and today tonight I'm with Connor. Connor say hi. Hello. Right, the first game is St Johnston v Celtic at uh, McDermott Park tomorrow. Uh, what's your thoughts going into this game? Well, Celtic can break a record here, can't they? A hundred years, sorry. Um, they can make the 62 unbeaten record mark that Willie Maley set, but I think we will dominate this game. Um, I think St Johnson has been on a poor run lately, beaten by Hearts, beaten by Rangers, drawn with Ross County. They've just been beat by generally a lot of teams lately, and I think Celtic will carry that run. I think they'll beat them tomorrow. And I think they might, be, might play their strongest team. Um, however, I do see Celtic winning this comfortably. I can't see uh, St John's causing us any problems, to be honest. What's your prediction? I think we'll win 2 0. 2 0. My prediction for this game is going to be 3 0 to Celtic. <laughs> the next one is Hamilton Arkies v Aberdeen. Hamilton, I don't know how Hamilton's getting on. I don't think they've been playing well. Aberdeen. Eh, uh, eh, uh, can I say, they're in a sticky patch at the moment with, due to, why is this paused? Connor? Yeah? Oh, sorry. Eh, uh, you said paused, that's why I'm asking. Eh, uh, Aberdeen with, eh, uh, in a sticky, sticky situation at the moment with McKinney's linking up with Rangers. Yeah. So what do you think this one's going to be? Hamilton beat Dundee last weekend. I struggled Dundee. I think Aberdeen's McKenna situation isn't going to take a toll. They've been on decent run this season. I think they've only been a bit beaten by Celtic. So I can only see in this one one way, and I think it'll be an Aberdeen win. And your prediction? I think Aberdeen will win 3 1. 3 1. Uh, Aberdeen is a good side, but the record last year was it. Did not, did they not lose twice over there last year? Both one now. Um, I'm not sure. I think I think they did because they played after the Morton game. They've given you a five uh, Aberdeen one now. Uh, after Mo after uh, Aberdeen give you a five Hamilton one now. So I'm gonna go, this one. I'm gonna be going for two now. I just think to Aberdeen now. Next one is Hibs v Dundee. Hibs a. Uh, News they conceded most of the every game, but uh, won last week against Motherwell, bit Hearts in the uh, Denver, sir, uh, in the Blood Derby. And Dundee, as you say, been on a poor form and get beat after Hamilton 3 1 last week. What do you think this one is going to plan out? Well, Dundee are bottom of the league just now. Have speak on Marnock 3 0 on Tuesday night, I think Hibs are on. A decent run so far in this season. I think they'll be pleased to their uh, third. I can see Hibs absolutely rattling Dundee here, and uh, I hope Neil McCann gets a good uh, welcome to the road. <laughs> um, so I think Hibs will win this one four 0 Four 0 Hmm. Be honest, I never knew half to see. I never have. Hibs on a win this, year, this season yet. So I, I think this, uh, my prediction today is going to be 2-1 to Hibs. And uh, this let's just say the next game, uh, I'm not using the word, Rangers v Party. And uh, I don't know if this classifies a Glasgow derby, does it? Yeah, it classifies a Glasgow derby. Uh, Rangers won last week over Hearts and I don't know how party going last week. Did you know? Uh, they won 1-0. Uh, they won 1-0. What do you think this one plans it? Well, um, you know who I'll be supporting? Partick uh, obviously. Hopefully Hibs will win this one and we'll be supporting Partick. Um, I think Hibs will win this one 2-0. Partick will win this one 2-0. Um, I think Hibs will win this one 2-0. 
beaten Dundee the other weekend. They've been on a decent form after Archibald's had critics. As for Rangers, they were in a sticky situation a couple of weeks ago. They beat Hearts, Kenny Miller's back. So, for Rangers, this one should be no problems. But if you look at their home form, I mean, they've, only, they've played five games and got five points at home. They've had really bad form. And if you look at Fisher's away form, picked up two points out of five games so I can actually see this being a close one on Graham Murray's return to Ibrox but I can see Rangers winning 2-1 I agree with you with that but 2-1 to Rangers and Ross County v Motherwell Motherwell knocked him out at the League Cup but at uh, D Dingwall what do you think this one's going to be? Well Motherwell won a, a good return from last week's defeat at home uh, um, Hibs um, Mullerwell of course on a flyer after winning semi-final they're sitting fifth in the league two points behind Rangers um, and they want, to, they want to win this one it's going to be a big trip to Dingwall um, as for Ross County they're sitting ninth they need the points we own Coyle um, I'm not sure how they got on last week I think they might have got, I think they drew no they, they won I can't remember actually um, I think they drew that. I can see, I can see this being, being a, a draw, but I think Stephen Robertson will want to win. So, um, I think this one will be a 2 1 win for Motherwell. 2 1 to Motherwell. I'm going to go for a 2 2 in this game. And Ross, you were playing Aberdeen, I forgot about that. Uh, I'm going to go for 2 2. That's good. The last one, Hearts v Kamarnock. Kamarnock. Kamarnock, eh. Done no bad under Steve Crack at the moment, only lost in one game out of three, drawing 2-1 uh -huh. each against Celtic and Rangers, so uh -huh. and Hearts. Mm. Oh, and I've kind of slipped us up again, so what do you think of this one? I can see, I'm not sure if you classify this as a shock, but I can see Steve Clark getting his first win at Murrayfield. Um, I think Hearts under Craig Levine, they have been average, they have lost to Hibs, they have lost to Rangers, and as for that, they beat St Johnson, I think they beat Hamilton as well on there. And, and so Ross County as well? They beat Kilmarnock away from home as well. They beat Ross County as well? Yeah, so, yeah, and I'm not sure if Joe would like me saying this, um, but I think Kilmarnock will win 2-0. Right. Purely I'm, because Steve Clark wants a response from his team after a hammering on Tuesday night I'm, against Hibs. And two draws against Celtic Rangers is pretty good, but they're sitting joint prop with um, Dundee, so I think they want to get away from that zone. And I think Kelly will get a short result. I'm going to go with 2 0 Kamarma. Right, I'm going to go for one each. I just think it's going to be a draw in this one. Alright. And the channel's that breaking feed the bar, what do you think this one's going to be? Um, I think it'll be... I think the will win this. I think they got beat last week, didn't they? Dundee uh, United. Aye. They're sitting eighth. Um, I think the will win this 2-0. Uh, Dundee United... I, I, I forgot the math, but I'm going to go for one each. Uh, Dundee United, did you say? Dundee United, Visa after a 2 2 against Morton last weekend, then Dundee United. What? Huh? Game of the week, gang. Game of the week. There's a game. There should be a. That should be one of the game of the week because there's another one. Uh, Dundee, yeah, no, four good, but fair. Uh, uh, Dundee United, Simon, what do you think this one's going to be? I think it'll be a draw, I think it'll be 2 each. 2 2? After 2 2. I'm going to go for a Dundee United win 3 1. Oh. As of. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, Falk, Kirk, Reed and Fairman, what do you think this one's going to be? One each. One each. Uh, I'm going to go for a Falk Kirk one actually. I'm going to go for 2-1 to Falk Kirk. Paul Hartley's first win of his season for uh, under uh, Falk Kirk manager. Livingston v Inverness, what do you think this one's going to be? I think uh, Livingston will win this 2-1. Livingston 2-1, 2-1. I'm going to say the same. Like, Martin well, has. be good on good form this week. Uh, this year, sorry. sorry. They can go top of the league if the things go their way. Yeah, who'd have thought? 
Um, Martin, uh, having a shaky start so far, only picking up about five points in the last three games. Cooney South uh, starting to be bet Falk at 4 2 last week. What yeah, do you I think, think this one? Wins this is fifth. Yeah. I can actually, sorry, Chris. So you can see where you are. But I think Queen of the South will win 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Uh, Martin having injury problems at the moment with uh, Michael Titus still a doubt. Uh, no doubt, he's definitely out. Uh, Conor McManus is out. And j yet today, oh, I don't know what's happening with Jai Katongo. He's a doubt for the match tomorrow. So... I'm, I'm not confident in the game, as I always am. I'm going to go for 1-0 to Morton. Alright, that's fair enough. And I think, uh, can I, I can tell you who can make you get the goal. Gary Harkins. Big fat Gary. <laughs> so that's my SPF of preview, so thanks for watching. And remember, please subscribe to Corda Spence. And... Bears. Catch you all uh, and I'll see you in tomorrow's, uh, uh, I don't know what it's called, vlog or facial vlog, so see you later and bye.